Hey guys, um, just wanted to give you a quick, quickie, quick tutorial thingy um, on how to install those things I was talking about a while back, the uh, Mine Colony. Um, so first, there are three things, um, Audio Mod, Mod Loader, and Mine Colony, the actual mod. I don't know if you need to actually have mod loader or audio mod, but I did it just as kind of a safety thing. They make sure that your mods don't interfere with anything else. And um so let's get started. Um first thing you're gonna do is go into your name, library, application support, Minecraft, and then the bin folder. You're going to see minecraft.jar, you right click it, go to archive utility, open, and what that's going to do is make a folder entitled minecraft. Rename your current minecraft.jar, change the after.jar, change it to bk, which kind of makes a backup, and change the other folder to .jar. Now, I'm also going to install the single player commands, just because that'll make it easier for me to show you that the mod works once it's done okay um... so let's start dragging them in to the dot jar file you can't actually open the dot jar dot bak or bk um... that should just be as a backup um... as far as the audio mod goes drag everything in the imxb folder and then go to Polly's code in your .jar file. Go to the codex and go to the one in the audio mod and then drag it in so you'll have three class folders in there. So then for mod loader, it's the easiest one to install. You just drag everything in the folder into your .jar and you're going to want to replace all. Then um, let's just do single player commands. I already have a video on how to install these, but just drag the BZ folder in and drag the player help helper class in. Then you want to go to your minecraft.jar and type in net. Well, first I'm going to delete the meta. Always make sure you delete the meta. I don't think you have to delete the trash, but I just did it just because. Anyways, um, go to net. Minecraft client um, and you'll have two folders and what you want to do is go into the single player commands and drag and replace minecraft.class that's gonna change something and okay so now here here's the whole reason that I really did this video is to tell you how to install mine colony click right above the GUI and highlight everything and drag it in all everything and you're gonna replace three times now drag HR and scepter class in now drag everything else okay drag PE dot class but don't drag readme or other compatible versions don't drag those bottom two go into the mod folder in both and drag all the PNG files, which basically are just pictures of what's going to appear for each, like each miner and each lumberjack or whatever. And then GUI, you do the same thing. Just drag these two into there. Okay. So as long as I deleted the meta, it should work. I think it should work. Alright, don't look at my login stuff. Blurby blurby blur, you can't see what I'm writing. Okay. Um alright, so it's always good. Oh, and real quick, um you should try to make a um a Minecraft folder where you can keep all of your dot zip files. And all the links will be in the uh the doobly doo. But because now instead of having to go, like if you mess up or something, instead of having to go all the way back to the website, you can just you can just go and get them from that folder. That's what I do. Okay, so um, it seems to be working. Okay, let's see. 
Let's see, I need to get these trees out of the way, so let me just give myself some flint and steel. Does this work? Nope. Give fire! Oh, well, that actually worked, wow. But, uh, just go and place that, and stuff will burn. Very good. Um, sorry guys, I'm kind of getting sidetracked. I guess I should, um... I guess I should show you the, uh, I'm trying to find somewhere, a good place to start a lumberjack camp or whatever. Let me get up here. Alright, um, over there seems good. Let's do it right here. Um, okay, so again, just out of wooden planks you um will just take wood that you would normally cut and you can use any type of pick or any type of axe like a pickaxe and pretty much any type even a wooden one will work the diamond one when you put it in when you're like making as you'll see in a second here when you're um when you're actually making the um chest It'll spawn more chests for you, which is kind of cool. But I don't really. I mean, if you're low on diamond, there's no point in doing it. You see how it says six? Yeah. But so, um, spider. Hi. All right. Whatever. Let's just go. All right. So there you go. It works. And this is on 1.202. So. It obviously works. Um, I wasn't able to give myself diamond stuff here, which is kind of weird. But um, be sure to watch this video in 720p because it's awesome. <laughs> I typed that in right there, and the spider, of course, attacked me because he was upset about what I wrote. So I had to kill him. I had to go Hulk smash on him. Give diamond sword. And then I go and kill him because he's a bad spider. But die, die spider! Come here, come here, come here! Die, die! You're dead. Oh, oh, crap! All right. Um. And also, if you kill the miner, he'll just disappear and he'll drop stuff. I'm about to show you here. Um. Set jump. Okay, there we go. But uh. Alright, yeah, but I do. Bitches. Mm hmm. Alright, let me, uh. Yeah, he's dead. Aww. I feel bad. Now, now I have nobody to hang out with. This sucks.